In programming languages, when we create a variable, we are creating a container where we can store values or data. However, in some programming languages, we specify what type of value or data a variable is going to have, and in some, we just write the name of the variable. In computers, a data type is the description of the set of values and the basic set of operations that can be performed or applied to values of the certain type. For example, different data types in Java or byte, short, int, long, flood, double, and bo boolean, and car or char. Based on whether a data type will be specified for a variable or a variable will be declared without a data type, programming languages are classified into the two, ca two categories. Strongly typed languages, also known as static languages, and weakly typed languages, or also known as dynamic langu dy dynamically typed languages. A strongly typed language or a static language requires that only a value of a specific type can be stored in a variable. In this kind of languages, values in variables are checked at compile time. If a variable has no data type specified for it, compiler will throw an error. Popular languages in a strongly typed category are C, C++, Java, Fortran, Pascal, and Scala. In all of these languages, variable is declared with a specific type. For example, in int age, variable age will have only variable age will store only integer values. If we try to store a decimal value in in, in variable int variable age, compiler will throw an error. Advantages of strongly typed languages are that it the program saves program is saved from errors and declaring a type for a variable optimizes the code. Some books define statically typed languages as those languages in which conversion from one data type to another is not allowed implicitly. That is, you have to tell compiler that change the value of a variable or result into this specific type. That is why in strongly typed languages, you have to tell compiler the type of variable when it is declared. So direct conversion from one type to another type is not allowed. Hence, strongly typed and statically typed languages are the same languages. A weakly typed or dynamically typed language doesn't care what type of value is stored in a variable when declared. In these languages, variables are checked at runtime what type of values they contain. JavaScript, Objective-C, PHP, Python, Ruby, and Lisp fall into the category of weakly typed or dynamically typed languages. For example, in this statement, in this two, in these two statements from Python, in Python language, variable age stores integer value in first statement, and in second statement it stores a string value. Both lines of code will successfully run without errors. These types of languages allow implicit conversion between unrelated type. That's why they are also called dynamically typed. That literally means while performing operations between values of two different types, result will be value of higher type. That is, operation on variable of type double and type integer will result in value of type double. Because double has higher capacity than, than integer data type. That's all in this video, watch more to learn more.